There's a sweet science to boxing. It's to hit and not get hit. So on one of my latest videos I did with Canelo on why he is the most dominant fighter of today. Of course, I had people who wanted to come in my comment section trying to make weird remarks about Floyd Mayweather where well, the video wasn't even about Floyd Mayweather. I guess they mad at the fact that I said that Canelo lost to Floyd Mayweather and that's when his defense improved, which he did lose to Floyd Mayweather. I wasn't trying to down him. I was just giving you the history of what had happened. But people wanted to come out in the comment section saying the same things that they usually say. This guy say, Mayweather never stood toe to toe with anyone. Somebody come in up under him and said he never lost either. Then this other guy come down here and say, Mayweather was a coward that dodged number one contenders until they were out of their prime. Sugar Shane Mosley, Manny Pacquiao. Those are the people that he's naming who are out of their prime that Mayweather fought. Then he put, I challenge you to find one number one contender that Mayweather has fought. One number one contender? I'll do you one better. I'll give you somebody who's more than a number one contender. I'll give you somebody who was actually champion and who wasn't out of their prime. So let's go with Arturo Gatti. He was the three division champ. He was actually more than a contender when he lost to Mayweather. He was the WBC super lightweight champion at the time. And he was only 33. Mayweather was 28. Is that like his prime? I don't think so. Leonardo Hernandez. He was a champion who held the WBA and the WBC titles at Super Featherweight at different times and successfully defending his titles 11 times in total when you combine both of the belts. He was also more than a contender himself. He was a champion when he lost to Floyd Mayweather. He was 32 at the time and Mayweather wasn't even in his prime. Mayweather was a baby. He was only 21. Yes, that's right. Hernandez was 32 and Mayweather was 21. Hernandez also only lost to the best fighters, which was Mayweather and De La Hoya. He only got two losses on his record. He definitely wasn't out of his prime. Diego Corrales. I mean, he was a two division champ who successfully defended his title four times. Even after losing to Mayweather, he would go on to still become a unified champ at lightweight. He was 23. Mayweather was 23. That don't sound like he's out of his prime to me. Now here is one that's controversial. Jose Luis Castillo. Castillo was a two division champ and successfully defended his titles five times. He was also more than a contender. He was a champ when he lost to Mayweather. Even after losing to Mayweather, he will go on to become a champion again. He was 28. Floyd Mayweather was only 25. But he's saying, you know, they said that he lost to Castillo. Okay, he gave him a rematch for those same belts. And he still couldn't beat Mayweather. For those same belts that they fought for the first time, he still couldn't beat him in the rematch. So stop it. He wasn't out of his prime. Ricky Hatton. He was a two division champ and unified champ in one of those divisions. He was on an undefeated 43 fight win streak until finally losing to Floyd Mayweather. Now, he wasn't the welterweight champ at the time, but he was a junior welterweight champ at the time, and he also had fought at welterweight before fighting Mayweather, and that's when he had became a WBA welterweight champ. He was 29 at the time, and Mayweather was 30 years old. Don't sound like he was out of his prime to me? But sweet science. You're using Mayweather back when he was younger. You're going to his earlier days, back when he was pretty boy Floyd. You're not using when he was learning Mayweather. We want you to talk about when he was already old and out of his prime himself, not when he was young. That's what they want. You know, they only want to talk about when he was old and, and out of his prime himself. So let's go about what this guy in his comment section saying. He said the ones who were out of their prime were Manny Pacquiao and Shane Mosley. Okay, with Manny Pacquiao, was he really out of his prime though? He was older than Mayweather at the time. But she saying, you know, age don't really got nothing to do with you being in or out of your prime. It only got to do with your performance. Oh, okay, see that's real convenient. Because Mayweather was older than Pacquiao at the time, so people want to say, It ain't got nothing to do with their age. We know that Mayweather was older, but it ain't got nothing to do with the age. It got to do with performance. Okay, they got to do with performance. Why well, I give you this right here? After Pacquiao lost to Floyd Mayweather, he still will go on and become the WBO welterweight champion after beating Jesse Vargas. 
then he lost it to Jeff Horn, but he also will go on to beat Lucas Matisse for the WBA welterweight title. He also defended the welterweight title against Adrian Broner successfully. Then he will go and become the WBA super welterweight champion after beating Keith Thurman. So that doesn't sound like a man who's out of his prime to me. I mean, this guy still became champion again after he lost to Floyd Mayweather. So we can cut it. And we can stop trying to make it seem like that he was out of his prime. What's he saying? What about Shane Mosley? Okay, listen. Shane Mosley is the only one that I'll give you who really was out of his prime, which is no fault of Mayweather. That's Shane Mosley's fault. Why you say? Because when Shane Mosley was the man, Mayweather called him out. When Shane Mosley was that guy, Mayweather called him out. But Shane Mosley said he had to go to the dentist. He couldn't fight Floyd Mayweather because he had to go to the dentist. Oh, y'all don't believe me? Check this out. Now, earlier you had issued almost categorical statements that you would not fight Floyd Mayweather at welterweight this year. If there is the possibility of making a huge payday, maybe the biggest one you've ever made, will you reconsider your earlier statements? Well, I mean, you, you never know uh, what happens, but I know that, you know, I had planned to go on trips and stuff like that even before this, uh, before this fight, and... You know, a fight in November, I don't know if I'll be able to properly uh, train in November, so that's why I said next year will be a perfect opportunity for me to uh, step in the ring with a Floyd Mayweather. So the door is a little bit open if somebody should lay an offer on the table for you next week. Definitely. I mean, you know, I know there's, uh, you know, there's a fight in November, and he has that card in November. I mean, you know, Margarita's sitting out there waiting for, for an opportunity. And he's one of the, the next top welterweights out there. Won't they go ahead and fight? And next year, I mean, me and Floyd can meet up after that fight. Well, w wouldn't that possibly interfere with the plans of your boss uh, or partner, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, to fight him next May? Why not seize the opportunity now if it comes along? Well, I don't know. Like I said, I mean, you know, uh, as, I'm, as I'm sitting here, my tooth is a little loose right now. I'm trying to figure out if I got to go to the dentist and, and, and give me some dentures in a second. Um, so you can't think ahead to Monday. <laughs> so I can't even. think ahead. You know, I've been feeling my tooth right now. I, mean, it's, I feel like it's coming out. Right. Like it, but I feel like it's coming out, so I'm, I gotta see what's going on, you know? All right, thank you very much. So as you can see, I ain't making it up. He the one said that he had to go to the dentist. And this was after Mayweather called him out. Then when Mayweather finally became the man, he finally became the cash cow, Shane Moulton was already old. And that's when he wanted to fight Floyd Mayweather, because he wanted that check. Hey, they, hey, they. Because Mayweather was the cash cow. So stop it. And these are just some of the champions. I ain't even named all of them. I think I'm gonna make parts to this for people who don't understand the history. They just grow up, they listen to their dad and to their uncles and to their moms because those people were mad that Mayweather had beat their favorite fighter at the time. So they told their kids that Mayweather was somebody who was just a coward and these people don't know anything about Floyd's past, about his recent boxing history. They just go by what their parents and uncles and aunties and moms told them and they run with it without knowing any history. But it's all good. I educate y'all. Yeah, this can be a part one. I just might make me a part two on why Floyd Mayweather could be considered the GOAT.